Welcome to my review of the Jackery Explorer 1000. Jackery stands out as one of the best manufacturers of portable battery power stations and solar generators. Their quality is exceptional and customer satisfaction is as good as it gets. You can't go wrong with any Jackery power stations. Outdoor enthusiasts, hikers, and campers are familiar with the smaller, portable Jackery power solutions, but the Jackery Explorer 1000 is one of the most powerful and versatile portable battery power stations in their lineup. Although, their most recent model is the more powerful Acri Explorer 1500. This review explores the advantages and disadvantages of the Explorer 1000. In addition, I show you some excellent comparative power stations to consider. Jackery Explorer 1000 Review Over the years, I've reviewed every battery generator that Jackery has to offer. I've compared them to just about every alternative, like Goal Zero Yeti and more. Jackery usually comes out tops when comparing prices, making them one of the best budget options. While some brands might be considered higher quality or offer superior technology, Jackery is no Mickey Mouse brand. They simply offer excellent value for money. Coming in at a snippet under $1,000, you'll be hard-pressed to find a better deal than the Jackery Explorer 1000. A general first impression indicates a well-made product. The Explorer 1000 is obviously larger than the others in the Explorer range. It is, after all, their most powerful battery power station. Apart from the physical size, 33.3km x 23.3km x 28.3km, the Explorer 1000 looks like any other Jackery Explorer product. Elegantly molded from impact-resistant plastic, with an ergonomic handle along the full length of the machine. It obviously weighs more than the smaller, less powerful models, though I think this is incredibly reasonable at 22.4 pounds. Considering the high power output, along with a 1002WH lithium battery, the Jackery Explorer 1000 has a wonderful power to weight ratio. Generally, I find this to be a great attribute to all Jackery products. Superb! When it comes to easy portability, the lithium-ion battery is one of the best you can get. Using a Li-Ion NMC battery is probably the ideal power storage solution for this type of application. Because lithium-ion batteries are not all the same, I'll be discussing these batteries in more detail after the review. For the purposes of the Jackery Explorer 1000 review, you should be aware that NMC lithium-ion batteries are amongst the best. Max Oak Blue TIE B200 The most significant difference between the Jackery Explorer 1000 and the Max Oak Blue TIE B240 is the improved battery storage for the latter. On the flip side, the Max Oak battery generator is more expensive and weighs quite a lot more. The weight difference is noticeable, placing the Max Oak at a distinct disadvantage when it comes to portability. As for the higher piece tag, I believe the Max Oak is equally good value when compared to Jackery Alternative. The higher price is easily explained by the additional battery watt hours. I'm a little disappointed that I'm unable to find any real technical information regarding the 2400WH LG battery used to supply the Max Oak EB240. This is, in my opinion, the most critical specification for this type of device. They advertise a lithium ion polymer battery with an incredible 2500 plus cycles. The Lion MC battery used for the Jackery Explorer 1000 is only rated for 500 cycles, which is more realistic at this price. I'm not sure if the Max Oak battery lifespan is just enthusiastic marketing, or are they using a superior battery? It's possible to achieve this type of lifespan using more expensive materials, like Life VP offer. If this is the case, the Max Oak EB240 would be exceptional value in the absence of any real tech specs for this battery. One can only guess. In the end, the extended power usage from a 2400WH VS Jackery Explorer 1000 1002WH battery is an obvious pl The pure sine wave inverter is pretty average, perhaps a bit above the norm, with a specified efficiency of 88% up to 70% of the maximum 1000W continuous output capacity at 110-120V. It can also supply 220, 240V with an improved efficiency rating of 90% when the AC load is less than 70% of the maximum continuous. This inverter appears to be in a higher class than many cheap options. The surge capacity is not as high the Jackery Explorer 1000, only 1200W. However, it can sustain peak power for up to 120 seconds. Battery charging is exceptionally fast. This has mostly to with the higher battery charge voltage, 42V. At a higher voltage, you don't need as much current per watt hour. Even though the Max Oak has a battery twice the size of the Jackery 1000, it doesn't always take twice as long to charge. Although the battery operating voltage is 14.8V, 
The ability to accept a high input voltage has distinct advantages when using the 120V 160W wall charger and solar charger, up to 500W. It allows for improved charging times, and the Maxoak Blue Dye 240 is able to supply pass through current when charging. This means you can use the Maxoak to supply power whilst charging. Most portable power stations don't have the power input capacity to simultaneously supply an output current. Because of the pass through voltage, it can take up to 15 hours to fully recharge the battery but you will have the advantage of using the power outlets whilst charging the battery. Total Harmonic Distortion THD is less than 5%. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you are helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.